Warning. Warning. This show contains mature content. Listener discretion is advised. Are you ready to get your mind blown? One angry New York City Puerto Rican decided to start a radio show. Determined to piss the world off by shoving a mirror in front of society's face. He kicked them in the balls. What are you? Who are you? This is the Crotch Shot Radio Show. Crotch Shot Radio Show. This is not a test. This is a broadcast transmission. We're going to stay on the air. And now, and now, the weepy, the weepy. Welcome to the Crotch Out Radio Show, where we kick the issues in the balls. We are on an active war against bullshit. We would do anything and everything to expose bullshit. The ends sometimes justify the means, so if you're angry and want the truth exposed, then strap in and prepare to be shocked. This is Smash Mouth Talk. If you can't accept that, then fuck off. I'm your host, Louis B. I takes no shits from nobodies. I actually expose the bullshit of society and cut it up into nice, easy-to-digest chunks for you today won't be any different today I am pissed off because I am I am constantly constantly seeing these so-called fighters for freedom the see so-called uh, defenders of equality afraid of of other people having a different opinion. So much so that they'll get violent. Um, they will threaten violence. Or go to a place where people have gathered peacefully. Like-minded people. They'll go to where like-minded people have gathered peacefully. To hear others talk. And and listen to uh, a person's opinions that they might. they they That people agree with. Just... Because they hurt their little feelings. I do stand-up comedy. And, you know, there's certain subjects I want to cover. Unfortunately, I have to listen to the market. And if the market is saying, hey, we don't like this. And, you know, we, we you know, you just can't talk about it. Fine. That's the market. And by the, and, and, but the thing is. Um, and I've spoke about this. They, these social justice warriors are fucking bigger bullies than anything the right has come up with. And I understand people's frustration, but it doesn't like you know. And and I've and I've made this point before, especially in my personal uh, observation. You can you can't goof about certain ethnic backgrounds, but you could still you but you but like okay, let me stop dancing around the subject. Like in comedy, if you say if you come out with a black joke and you're not black, um, it you know it doesn't work well for you. It, people people go up in arms. If you talk about gay people, it's like oh shit, come on, da, 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 da. protected class. You can't say shit about women. But these same people that will jump down your throat for making such jokes, in my case, I, you know, I'm a Puerto Rican. I've heard so many Puerto Rican jokes from these so-called conscious freaking fighters of equality, leftist fucking liberal douche nozzles. They'll, they'll make racist Puerto Rican jokes. All right. 
I am we got Mildred in the chat room. Mildred, what's up? So I wanted to I, I saw this video by uh that had uh Milo Yiannopoulos, maybe hopefully I said that said his last name correctly. Um when he was at DePaul University. This is old news. This happened I I think a week or two weeks ago where he was giving a talk uh, as part of his dangerous faggot tour. Um, for some of you who've never heard of Milo Yiannopoulos, he is a he's a Canadian homosexual white guy from uh, uh, who supports who, who's a conservative, and I guess uh, it, uh, more specifically, I would say he's a fiscal conservative and a social liberal, obviously a social liberal liberal. Um, And, you know, he's talking about how he speaks out, he speaks out against feminism, which, oh my goodness, all these like fucking fat, nasty, stupid feminists that would love him because he's gay and want to go shopping with him and all that shit, hate his guts, and, and I've even seen videos where they make up shit that he said that he didn't say. They like to put words in people's mouths, like this whole thing with... Oh, Trump is a racist. Yet not one person that said it. How is he a racist? Oh, because of what he said. Okay, what did he say? Specifically tell me what he said. Oh, no, he's just a racist. Like, I've I've had arguments. Like, how is he a racist? What did he say? Uh, he's just a racist. Like, like, they're programmed. And mind you, I hate Trump. But I hate him not because I think he's a racist, not because I think he's a sexist, not because for any of those things. Because he is not a true conservative, a fiscal conservative. He, I believe, he will continue to allow these corporations to not pay taxes, and constitutionally, a business is supposed to pay income taxes. It's in the Constitution. He won't shut down the Federal Reserve. He will not end this phony war on terror. And this Memorial Day, you know, I, I mean, as much as I disagree with the these the wars in the Middle East, as much as I I, you know, you know they you know as much as i disagree with the war in iraq and war in afghanistan talking about you know freaking bombing libya again and, and and you know disrupting sovereign nations for you know not even not even people that not even countries that are a threat to the us or have even made threats to the us and okay and and some of you, you know, a lot of people listen to the show. Hate hate when I start spouting some, spouting my 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 uh, 9/11 truthy truth talk. But I mean seriously, Al Qaeda now um, now ISIS or ISIL, all inventions of the CIA. And honestly. A lot of this shit happening in France and Germany and Brussels and shit. A lot of it could be false flag, but you know what? It also could be fucking blowback. At the very least, it could be blowback, like what, uh, like like what Ron, uh, Congressman Ron Paul, said. We're going into these people's countries. We're fucking their shit up. Yet, you know what? If a foreign country came up in here and started killing you randomly, you're trying to have a wedding. You're you're having a wedding. It's the happiest day, happiest occasion. Oh, here's a missile. Oh, thank you, thank you for the wedding gift, Uncle Sam. You just killed my uh, killed the ring, the three year old ring bearer. Oh, you expect me not to get pissed off and want to fuck you up?
Like, at the very least. It was like, why the fuck are you bombing us? And a lot, and, and what? They, they wasn't there, uh... They, I think they're making a movie about, they made a movie about this? About, uh, uh, you, uh the, the, these drones, they, they killed the wrong people? So I hate I hate Trump because he's gonna continue that bullshit. I'm all for defending our borders. I'm all for verifying anyone that wants to come in this country. Like if you if you're gonna come in the right way, get screened, come in. Any other country, you can't just walk in and fucking establish residence all willy-nilly no other country you can just do that shit you have to go through a fucking process even in those even in those uh you know the sex tourism freaking but you know uh countries where a lot there are a lot of american expats so that way they could get themselves some tranny pussy you can't just be like I want to Joe. I want to come in your country so I can fucking fuck lady boys. You can't just do that. You got to go through a fucking process. Not that I looked into it. <laughs> I'm just saying, you know, you read these shit, you read these stories and shit. But but this shit like honestly, but you know, these these social justice warriors like Black Lives Matter, which you know what, honestly, honestly, and I get it, cops, you know, black people have been treated like shit. Yes, I get that, but you know what, they treat each other like shit. Look at Chicago. Look at Camden, New Jersey. Look at it at almost. Every area, black na- like uh, freaking Comptons, they're killing themselves because they're not. They kill themselves because they're not. Sometimes they they're, they're not wearing the right color. Yeah, how's about we like and and, and you know and then I'm an asshole. I want to say why don't you address the fucking savagery that you do to yourselves before you start talking about. Before you start talking about how you're being treated. <laughs> oh, hold on. Uh, I'm going to take a quick break. I got uh This is weird. Um <laughs> I'm going to I'm going to play something. I'm going to play uh uh oh fuck it. I'll be right back. Please don't leave. <laughs> Sorry about that. Live radio. I had family here, so, you know, just saying goodbye to them. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, uh, yes. Mil just says, Black Lives, the Black Lives Matter movement will only gain any respect from me when they stop fucking shouting buzzwords and do shit. Yeah. Yeah, like, uh, all right, let me, let me, uh... Let me pull it up because I mean, Milo. Ah, now I can't say his word. Milo, Milo Yiannopoulos. You know he was doing a talk. The for this this preacher apparently a preacher a man of God supposedly. That's another fucking scam. I mean, a lot of the how's about how's about we how's about we start taxing. Tax and religion. I mean, I'm 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 not an atheist, but at this point, why the fuck are they tax? That why the why the, why should they be tax exempt anymore? These people, are, like especially when you look at these mega churches, you look at Creflo Dollar and all that. 
they're making billions of dollars and they're not paying taxes while their parishioners are fucking starving? Like, come on, that that's a big fucking scam too. In the words of Frank Zappa, tax the fuck out the churches. Yep. Church is chicken. You'll see a lot less of these fucking false religions fucking being in business if they gotta pay taxes. That'll close up a lot of the a lot of fucking cults. I'll tell you that much. In fact, it, I I actually I really believe that if you tax churches, it could save a bunch of lives. It'll it'll force people to like hmm, maybe I should get a real job instead of fucking you know making up making up scripture as they go along. Like I mean, freaking there was this one preacher that says he hasn't read the Bible. What some I forgot his name. He's a white dude. He has like a bunch of books talking about God and talking about how to be successful spirituality and shit. But you haven't freaking cracked open the Bible. But anyways. So anyways, this this black preacher goes up uh, and starts, um, you know, blaring a whistle because he didn't like what Milo Yiannopoulos Milo Yiannopoulos was saying. Okay. First of all, people paid to see this guy. So you're pretty much stealing from people that paid to hear someone talk. If you don't like what someone says, don't buy a ticket. Don't go. Simple as that. But these idiots from Black Lives Matter, they actually paid for a ticket. They paid. They put money in his pocket. Idiots. That Oh yeah, yeah, let's just disrupt it and look like fucking complete assholes. In fact, let me see if I can find uh let me see if I can find it here. Uh, yeah, let me play. Let me. This is a 25-minute clip. I'm not gonna play the whole 25 minutes. Well, I'll probably play a little bit and then stop. And the reason you can't see them is because they're not there. There's no, nothing happened. Here he comes. He. I mean. The black passes. You hear it? He's, I mean. Hello, darling. S sir. Please, please sir, 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 please, please. sir, please. We'd like to ask you to please. So what happened was uh, this black preacher, he jumps up on stage and uh, another young lady, she jumps up on stage and uh, both acting foolish. Both acting foolish. And mind you, not one person is screaming the N-word. Not one person is saying anything racist. Not from what I can hear. Ain't that some funny shit? They, oh, oh, Trump supporters are racist. One's doing, the, now she's dancing, doing the fucking whip and the nay-nay because she's a twat. Sir, please. And again, like Mildred said, they're doing the sloganeering, dump their Trump. He goes, Mildred says, what I hate is duplicity. These are the same people who say we want to have a conversation about. So. Well, Christy, you know, in the Constitution, a business can be legally taxed. That's constitutional. A church is a business. They make money. It's not like you're taking it from workers. I mean, imagine how much taxes you could get if you start letting the start taxing these companies and making them pay taxes instead of letting them get away with shit and like lower the taxes or or eliminate it for the regular person. And she's laughing. Cook. Mm. Hate when she does that. She just laughs. She does it. <laughs> Sir! Like, honestly, you don't have a right to disrupt somebody that, that does this. 
You don't have a right to disrupt a a a uh, an event that people have set up. Okay, so the chick, the the hood rat, snatches the uh, snatches a uh, a microphone from the moderator and gets up in Milo's face, acting like she's gonna punch him. Like we good, we good. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? I swear to God, I would have knocked that bitch out cold. I would have made. I would have disappointed. Uh, shit. I should. I should do the dangerous spick tour. Fuck it, I think that should be the name of my first comedy album, The Dangerous Spick. Now she's doing the whip and the name a because she's a twat. Milo is laughing, cause whether you like him or hate him, like he, I do believe that he's a provocateur. He is acting like a provocateur. But these people are, are making his point for him. He's looking golden right now because he's staying nice and calm, and these people are acting fucking foolish. We have heard enough of this foolishness, okay? Every time you hear this foolishness, it's followed by the blood on somebody else's hands. Dump the Trump! 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 Join that conversation. Hey guys, can we get a chant going in here? Dump the Trump! Dump the Trump! Feel that burn! Feel that burn! Feel that burn! Feel that burn! Dump the Trump! 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 And of course, they support the candidate that's a, that, that will make sure that they don't have to work. Like honestly, they're making like they're making it easy for like real racists to hate them. Like, oh, see, well, you know, hey, this just proves that they're lazy, they're violent. You know, it's like, come on. Milo, Milo. They're doing black people a disservice by doing this. Milo, 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 you gotta go. 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 We'll be all night. Like, honestly, where the fuck is security? In fact, it turned out that uh, they, uh, the DePaul University, made the Republican, uh, the Republican, um, uh, a club of this of this university, pay an extra one thousand dollars for extra security for this event because because they were like, oh, Milo's Milo's uh, rhetoric is really inflammatory. So where the fuck is security? Honestly. As someone that does security, they would have been for for an event with of a with a person this popular. 
there would have been a demilitarization zone around the stage. Like, and by demilitarization zone, I mean, uh, like, a certain, uh, uh, a buffer. Like, some gates there, so that way people can, can't go rush the stage. For the safety of, of, of the person. That's just, er. They, this, this college did none of that. I hope this college gets fucking sued. I hope Breitbart sues them. I hope the, the college Republican Party, uh, sues them. Sues the shit out of them, cause they 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 made security stand down. Like, what would have happened if these guys would have pulled out a gun and shot Milo, or started firing into the crowd? The safety of the students, just because they have a different opinion, was not they 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 couldn't give two shits. We'll be on. Make America hate again. Racist bastards. He's an idiot. He's an idiot. Hi, everyone. Just so you're all aware, um, public safety did call the police, so they should be here very soon. Build a wall. Again, mind you, the Trump supporters are fucking retarded too. I mean, I'm just saying, like, th th like this whole thing has just become a whole fucking cult. The cult of Bernie Sanders, the cult of Hillary Clinton, the cult of Donald Trump. It's a whole fucking cult going on here. It's like, I mean, I, you know, you could, you could tell that people, they sense that something is wrong. They just, but they're just too lazy to really do the research and, and do it themselves. I mean, this is just a perfect storm of retardedness. I think, I think Milo is controlled opposition. Opposition, I mean, controlled opposition. This is my conspiracy muscles. This is my conspiracy theory. Uh, uh, conspiracy sense is tingling. My, uh, Milo's control opposition. Black Lives Matter is obviously control opposition. It's a crea It was a creation of George Soros to help further destabilize the United States. He was behind the whole fucking uh, um, Occupy movement. I believe Bernie Sanders, he's he's also controlled opposition. Hillary Clinton, I mean, she's just a fucking New World Order shill insider. I mean, and so, like, I and I think Trump, is, I think, you know, and I truly believe Trump is controlled opposition. You know, he's just not, uh, he just hasn't been accepted into the fold yet. But the fact that, the fact that he's still getting the success and they're using the, oh, he got this opposition. Yeah, some fucking opposition. He's winning. He's he's winning all these delegates so fucking easily. When Ron Paul was running, shit, they had to silence Ron Paul. Ron Paul, you know, barely got anything. Even though people were showing up in droves for him, he had more fucking meetup groups, more fucking support than any other candidate when he was running. Yeah, he they you heard, barely heard who he was. A lot of people are like, who's Ron Paul? Like, really? 
either that or oh no, Ron Paul's too old. Ron Paul's crazy. Yet yeah, these are the same fucking faggots that are fucking run following uh, Bernie Sanders. Hello. You're being lied to. You're being played. This whole Black Lives Matter is a fu matter movement is just more division. You're being played. This fucking ugh. And quiet. That would be great. This is a very low standard of protest. At Rutgers, they at least brought paint. You know, I worked out why there's so many black girls here. I think it's because I fucked their brothers. Ooh, you got him, Milo. <laughs> yuck, yuck. Oh, I fucked their brothers. Oh, yuck. I get it because you're gay. Oh, yuck. Audience, please remain sitting. Audience, please remain sitting. Audience, please, please be quiet. Please be quiet. We don't want this to get shut down. Well, I mean, they, they, like, they ended up shutting this down. So let me let me fast forward a little bit. Then great for you. I'm glad that you can pay. Whoops. Let me. For this event. Let you, her talk. Like you were complaining. Yeah. All right. I mean, I am taking calls. I'm on. Madam, I'm on Skype. You want to come up? Yeah, listen to this, what she says. I just wanted to fast forward. Right, you guys you, really you can see the cops in the background. Let her talk! Let her talk! Let you, her talk! Heard, you were complaining about how we wouldn't let you in, and if, what we, and if what we say and what we do is about letting people in and acceptance, then by all means, we let you in! All I right. want you! Please... There's a black girl talking. I like it when, when like the, the, the Black Lives Matter chick, she's screaming, calling people racist and bigots and shit. But the moment she's like, look, I, uh, the, the other black chick, she's like, I'm, I'm, I'm talking about, you know, uh, hard work and shit. And, and she got, the other chick has nothing but to just laugh and giggle like an idiot. Uh, well, we got some, uh, yeah. Uh, Mil just says, the coda of this whole thing is... You catch more flies with honey than with vinegar. A lesson these bitches haven't learned since they th think acting like a damn fool is going to bring people to their side. Um, and then the zero thirty second channel says, dude, Black Lives Matter is the latest version of the Democratic Party using, to, using uh, fear to manipulate the black community into voting Democrat. It's fear migrant at its finest. Also, the chick talking right now is Katie Danforth. Uh, Black Lives Matter is calling her a sellout, white man's whore, coon in training, etc. Because she dared to disagree with them. Fuck those dumb waste wastes of semen. Yeah. I mean, she has a point. Like, fucking, like, honestly, 
like, this is why people get pissed off at movies when someone is talking. I paid to watch a fucking movie. I paid to watch a performance, and you're going to talk, you're going to disrupt? I didn't pay to listen to you talk. I didn't pay to watch you. Like, I didn't pay, you know, you're not going to, you're not going to sway me into your side by acting like an asshole. You're not. You're not going to sway me by screaming at me, by fucking calling me a racist. Oh, well, you know, because you know what? If it's a, if a person is really a racist, being called a racist is not going to bother them. The only time being called a racist bothers someone is when a person is not really racist. Is not a racist. It's like, who the fuck are you to be labeling me? You don't know me. Like, shit, as someone who gets labeled a fucking sexist all the time. A fucking racist all the time. It's, it's, you know. Like, fuck it. I mean, it, it, you know, it still bothers me, but, you know, because I've been going to therapy. <laughs> it's like, I've gotten to the point where it's like, no, I know who I am. I know I'm not a racist. I know I'm not a sexist. There's too many, there's too many people, too many fa uh, people of different colors and too many uh, women who I care about in my life for me to be, to, for me to really be sexist or racist. But that's the, that's the fucking, that is the fucking uh, first thing they could say. That's all they say. You're racist. You're a coon. You're this. You're, you're a white man's whore. Pure fucking laziness. And honestly, I think it, it just pisses people off to the point that they'll say those words just to piss you off right back. Not because you're right. Like, oh man. Mm. Not because you're racist or anything. It's like, yo, you know what? Fine. If you're going to call me a, 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 a coon, if you're going to call me a racist, you know what? Then you're a blankety blank blankety blank 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 racist, racist terminology here. Anyways, if you guys want to call in, um, you could uh, Skype me. It's uh, Crotch Shot Radio. Feel free and add me. I have the Skype open. Or, or I don't know if this will work, but um, you could try calling me on the phone. I have the phone line open. The phone lines are open. I tell you, bars and phone on the phone lines are they, they be open. I don't know why the, why the fuck am I doing that accent? I've been doing. You can call me at three four seven nine two seven six eight two four. That number again is three four seven nine two seven six eight two four. But uh, let's continue playing. Like, honestly, this, this, you know, okay, this shit is, like, so frustrating. And you got the token white girl sitting in protest doing a sit-in, like, oh my god, I, I'm so fucking aware. I'm, like, white people in the Black Lives uh, Matter movement, I think they're just there so that way they can feel good about themselves. Like, I'm not a racist. No, 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 you are. You, you still are. You still are. Yeah, don't worry. And that is really not fair. If you pay for an event and you got these people being disrespectful and the college is not doing anything, you see security off to the side not doing anything. You see the police off to the side not doing anything. Lawsuit, lawsuit, lawsuit.
opinion, yeah, an opinion is not gonna kill you. If you don't like it, fucking just don't listen to it. So easy. The moment you react to it, oh, you give it power. Milo is laughing his balls off. It's not bothering him in the least that the Black Lives Matter people are acting like fools. And I believe, like, I'm looking at him, he, he, he definitely is controlled opposition. I can't wait to see the Breitbart article about this. <laughs> how we can solve this. Maybe I'll just come here. You see, I don't have a problem with anybody on the basis of their skin color. Who would? I don't have a problem with anyone on the basis of their sexuality, although I know she's got some interesting things to say about fashion, which perhaps betray. In that fucking outfit, she wants to be careful. You're an idiot! You are an idiot! Dump the Trump! Stop! How about you stop eating with your... What irritates And I think... That's so fucking annoying. Like, you're acting like a fucking child. And I mean, this has been the failing of Black Lives Matter since fucking jump. I tell you that, that much. They're doing more of a disservice to black men and women than the fucking minorities, man. It, it, you know, honestly, I feel more in danger because they're around than, than ever. Because all you're going to do is piss off white people to the point where they're just going to be like, well, then fuck it then. We'll just, just kill you just to kill you. Like, fuck it. Like, I, I, I'm not even playing it because I'm getting tired of it. But, you know, people, you know, you could just look up Milo Yiannopoulos, uh, DePaul. Like, honestly, if I was security, that dude would have gotten bounced out. He would have gotten bounced out. It's like, no, you don't belong here. You don't belong on this stage. State, you, you, you don't belong on this stage. Get out. You could kick people out. You know, as long as you don't beat the crap out of them, but they, they start getting violent, then you whoop them with, with, within reason. And then you throw their ass out or give them, give them to cops. You have to give to cops. Because it's, ter it's not fair. It's, not, it's, not, it's theft. I would, I would go as far as say it's fucking theft. I mean, this Black Lives Matter, they, they fucking, they fucking always, they, they stick up for thugs. And then the one, the one innocent, which I believe Freddie Gray was the one innocent that got killed because, uh, because of thug cops, is like, you, it ends up throwing, you end up having to throw the baby with the bath, baby out with the bath water. It's like, well, you know. You know, you'll get people thinking, well, he must have he did something wrong anyways. I mean, I, I've even had freaking Colin Flaherty on this show. They kill themselves in record numbers. Black on black crime. Hmm. Hmm. In fact, I want to play this quick song. Uh, it's called Bowling for Behave.
and take a quick break and then we'll be back and finish this up so gun crime things like this gang related violence it's going to be minority to fucking behave you want to act like goddamn animals and then you and then you cry when when people start at, people don't trust you and then you're putting my life at risk acting like that and then protesting these assholes like and I've done a show about about uh freaking uh, uh the, the what's his name Trayvon Martin like I don't even I uh, shit I believe he should have been... I believe uh, tr uh, fucking George Zimmerman should have been convicted of murder. But you know what? Trayvon Martin was not innocent. He was a grown-ass man. Wanted to play a grown-ass man game. And lost because he didn't have the proper equipment. George Zimmerman wanted, was playing fucking cop. And I do believe, and you know, and, and George Zimmerman is not even the white guy. <laughs> and then look what his mom does. She fucking make, comes out with a rap album. Oh my goodness. Mother of the fucking year. Your son dies and what you do, you, oh shit, you got a rap deal now. Tell me, what does making a fucking rap album gonna do to stop fucking gun violence? How's about you teach these kids to fucking behave? Start there. How's about you be fucking parents? How's about you stop making fucking illegitimate kids? Really? That's the re that's the downfall. Is the fucking family. The destruction of the family is what's causing a lot of this shit. But you say, oh, you're racist. I mean, look at Egypt. See what happens when black people actually are actually, you know, doing the right thing. Look at the discoveries they're finding in Egypt. Look at all the freaking theories of Egypt. They were technologically advanced. Now what? And I do believe it is because, you know, they, you know, the New World Order or Illuminati, whatever, have fucked with, with black people. But it's like, you gotta like, okay, well then you gotta like, fight back. You gotta fight the programming. You gotta get back to where you were. But doing this Black Lives Matter shit. First of all, you're not even addressing the real issues. 
bunch of fucking bunch of fucking fake thugs that fucking rap acting like they're killers, but they they don't even have not one body. Like uh, honestly, like uh, what uh, la- to, last week there was a shooting in uh, there was a shooting at a rap concert in here in New York City at Irving Plaza. Like fucking, you are a fucking pussy. You're gonna pull out a gun and just blindly start shooting shooting at people. Really? You got a problem with someone? Step up and fight. Throw hands. Throw hands. And then you're going to shoot. You're going to... You you got a bad aim. You're going to shoot. You're going to hit somebody. You're going to kill innocent people. You're going to shoot that... Uh, hit, shoot and hit innocent people. And you think you've... And, and here's the thing. The, you know, they think that they they fucking accomplished something. That's the biggest shit I hate. I hate. You see, you see these... Uh, you see a freaking fight. And you know the a fight they they these like bunch of black kids jump like one guy and they think they're fucking cool they think they accomplished something. Like I mean, growing up, man, you know, I used to get jumped by black kids all the time. And I say that oh well, get over it. You're a racist. Really? You think you accomplished something because you you you. You managed to kick my ass freaking five, five, six, eight to one. And it's like, come on. Really? Really? You, you, you don't want to face me one-on-one? You think you're strong? Which is probably the reason why I got some fucking anger issues. I got some really bad anger issues. I'm just bottling that shit up. Oof. Thank God I'm in. I thank God I'm in therapy. But I think this Black Lives Matter is doing more harm than good for everyone. It's more division. It's gonna. It's creating real racism. And I do believe black people could be racist. I believe everyone could be racist. I want to. Uh, let's cut that shit. Oh, black people can't be racist. Not eat a dick. Everyone could be racist, thinking you're better than thinking you're better than everybody else. See, as a Puerto Rican, I don't think I'm better than anyone else. I ain't got blank friends. I'm not gonna freaking, nah, you know. I'm gonna take it a step further. I got black people that I love. I got black people that I call. Grandma, I got black people that I call grandpa. I got black people that I call aunt, uncle, who I love. I got black people who I call sister, who I love. You're a racist. That doesn't matter. Oh, cause I'm fucking, I'm fucking criticizing your precious little crap, freaking George Soros, fucking backed, fucking New World Order weapon, fucking bullshit movement. How's about you open your goddamn eyes? Do your own research. And as always, and, and, and I know Mildred's gonna hate this because it's sloganeering. This is Louis B. Ask questions, demand answers. And as always, from my house to your house, mahalo. Hey, 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 hey